Hi everyone, I'm Melissa with Midnight Hour Oil. I wanted to come out today and talk to you a little bit about something right now that I think is a concern within the body of Christ, and that is the lack of connectedness, the lack of unity. Um, many people, because of the, the COVD issue, are staying at home, are not having fellowship with uh, other believers, and um, and I believe even before that, that there was a disconnect, a big disconnect within the body. And uh, I won't go into all of that. I will provide a link um, in the description box to a video I did, I think about a year ago, uh, where I cover the, um, the topic of relationship-based Christianity uh, that the Lord has taught me about, which again is more of a revelation than uh, something that you can really teach. But uh, I do my best in that video to convey what the Holy Spirit has shown me about that. And I do believe that that is where the church is headed, that the, the Lord is bringing us back to that same place that the, uh, the first century church was, uh, that place where they were connected, they shared one another's lives, uh, they really knew one another. <clears throat> and, um, and I want to share a dream I was given on January 23rd of 2021, uh, because I believe that this speaks to what the Holy Spirit is wanting to lead the, the body of Christ into, uh, back into. So in this dream, I was uh, on a mission trip to Jamaica. And uh, while I was there, I learned, and, and it was specifically called the Reach Out and Ask to Hold Hands Culture. The Reach Out and Ask to Hold Hands Culture. That's what I learned while I was there for like six weeks to three months, something like that. And, um, so when I came back from this mission trip, I was like in this room, like, I don't know if it was maybe a church, uh, and there was a, a young girl there and we began to talk about this and she was explaining to me that she was, uh, afraid to sing in front of people. She liked to sing, but she was afraid. And so I began to explain to her what I had learned about this uh, reach out and ask to hold hands culture. And I told her, I said, the reason you are afraid to sing in front of people is because you do not know them. I said, uh, but if, if you would um, begin to connect with them, like in the, this reach out and hold hands culture, and you got to know them, uh, then you would not be afraid of them. And so I, I felt like that dream just really spoke to the condition of the church, at least here in the West, uh, where where we just really don't know one another. We we uh, we tend to in organized religion, which most of you who listen to me know, I, I'm not a part of that uh, anymore. I was called out of that in 2008, and the Lord has just given me understanding um, of what I believe His original plan was. Not that I condemn anyone in a um, in a auditorium style church because God is leading each of us in, in his time and way. But, um, I just, I believe that this is a time when we need to connect more than ever before. People are, uh, just going over the edge. It seems right here where I live in West Virginia, just in the past week, there was a pastor who went to a gas station, set himself on fire. Uh, there was a, a mom here who killed five of her children and uh, set the house on fire, killed herself. There are people struggling uh, in ways that I can't even comprehend. And we, we as a church, we need to first be unified together and help one another through these times before we can even reach out and help these people who uh, don't know the Lord maybe or are just uh, you know really in a difficult place mentally, spiritually. But uh, I believe that that's what God wants from us. And, you know, you go to the scriptures, you look in uh, Ephesians chapter 2 and verses 13 through 16 and 21 through 22. And you see where Jesus, his, the purpose of his life was truly to bring unity uh, among mankind, to bring unity between the Jew and the Gentile, and uh, to bring us into unity with, with our Heavenly Father to restore that relationship. And, uh, and we need to remember that that's, you know, what we are. We are uh, 
one body. In fact, in verses 21 through 22 of Ephesians chapter 2, it says this, in whom the whole building being fitted together is growing into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are being built together into a dwelling of God in the Spirit. We're one. We're one. We're in, in Christ. We are one. And it's so important for us to hold on to that truth and really do our best to connect with one another. Um, we had a friend come over last night and uh, his name is Mark and he reaches out to people who are struggling and, you know, we're planning on maybe trying to bring some people here uh, to our home that we can just have a meal with, talk to, fellowship with, uh, just to help people, to uh, encourage them, to strengthen them in these dark times. Uh, because I believe that that is what the body of Christ needs more than ever. And so I encourage you to pray about this and uh, see if the Lord would lead you to even one person who maybe is in your neighborhood or you work with them or go to school with them that you can see is really struggling. Um, it's vital that we reach out now. Uh, the suicide rate is off the charts with the isolation, all of this uh, people being by themselves and you know this is this is how the enemy works you know if he can isolate somebody I mean he can conquer them so church let's just do our best to band together in a unit in unity in love in in, uh, in the Holy Spirit as the Apostle Paul tells us in Ephesians chapter 4 verses 1 through 3 he says therefore I the prisoner of the Lord implore you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling with which you have been called, with all humility and gentleness, with patience, showing tolerance for one another in love, being diligent to preserve the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. So I hope this message encourages you. I, I hope it blesses you. I, like I said, I'm going to leave a link to the uh, video I did about a year ago on relationship-based Christianity. Uh, if you want to learn a little bit about that, you can tune into that. Uh, it's often referred to as house church. And um, as always, church, it is my prayer that we will all continue to keep our lamps burning bright while we wait for Jesus. I love you all. God bless you.